Hi, my name is Randy Nordale, and I'm a uh, professor at American River College in Sacramento, California, and I'm also the lead author of the Office in Practice series of texts. And uh, this is the first in a series of a dozen or more uh, SimNet instructor videos that are uh, designed to help you create your course, add content to your course, customize your course so it meets the needs of your teaching style, your students, the modality in which you're offering it. So SimNet is, an, is a wonderful learning and evaluation tool for Office, Microsoft 365 Office application apps as well as computer concepts and file management and, and Outlook and other content like that. So. Um, this is the instructor interface and almost everything is from left to right. So your main buttons are down the left hand side here, the main areas. Um, admin settings, if you're if you're in uh, logged in as an administrator, it's one of the roles, the instructor roles um, available, the um, you'll have this button here. If you're not, if you're in as a full instructor, this button will not be available. So, um, but anyway, these are the different buttons and almost everything is left to right. So if I go to the content area and I choose SimBooks, um, what I'll do next is after that, I'll go to the middle here and choose a textbook that I want. I'll go to Excel and then at the right, if I want to open a textbook or preview a SimBook here, I can do that. So that opens up. So think of everything typically as moving from left to right. Um, so let me talk about the different types of content that is in SimNet. So the first is a SimBook. This is one-to-one -one content with the uh, printed textbook. Um, the nice thing about this is it has built-in interactive activities also. So a student can go through a SimBook here, uh, the table of contents is, is up here, and it's broken into, into student learning outcomes. And every few student learning outcomes are pause and practice projects as well. Um, they can navigate through here by clicking the forward or back button as they get to some of the how to's that's where you'll have the interactive show me guide me let me try we'll have another video on SimBooks specifically and how to assign them to a class and customize all that content but no SimBook is a great learning tool it's typically what most instructors assign first in a class and has in these built-in learning activities here so it's like a lesson you can sign it like a lesson so um, so that's a sim book uh, the next the next thing in the content area that most instructors use are what are called simnet projects so these are the simnet projects here and you could again similar from the left to the right you could pick the content the book for which the projects are and there are typically three projects per chapter and these are auto graded projects in simnet um, there's guy there's a guided project for each chapter which is very hand-holding very formative in nature telling students what to do how to do it a lot of screenshots independent projects pull back that instructional scaffolding a little bit and um, tell students more what to do but not how to do it and the advanced projects even more so so our whole goal is taking taking students from low stakes sim book mastery learning they can do it as many times as they want to projects that you know tell students what to do and how to do it a guided project or the pause and practice projects and then on to independent projects and advanced projects so just stepping them along to help them out and to help them internalize this content and to be able to transfer the content that they're learning to other contexts so Sim, SimNet projects. So those are second thing. We also have capstone projects that cover multiple chapters that could be used more as a summative type project or exam. I use capstone projects in my course as exams. Um, so those are available as well for each of the applications. A lot of different projects are, are that we have in here for the different books and serial, all of that. And um, yeah, so those are projects. The third thing, in content would be exams and again we're going to have videos on each of these so i'm not going to go too in depth as far as the customizations and all of that but for exams you can have a couple different types of exams you could have a simulated content exams we could have a test bank exam which are more objective based questions uh, true false multiple choice or you can have a combination of, of 
uh, it, questions, the simulated and the test bank exams. You can also create your own test banks if you want. So your own test bank questions. We have test bank questions built in as well as all the simulated content. But uh, exams are another common uh, assignment that people use for evaluation for their for their students and in their classes. So those are those are SIMNET exams. Uh, next would be lessons. Lessons are, are simulated content very similar to the sim books, except you could customize the content that goes in there. So if you wanted a supplemental lesson on um, uh, look up. Uh, X lookup and uh, pivot table, some of the more challenging things, you could do that, just have a lesson based on that. So lessons of simulated content, very similar to the sim books. Um, then on to the next thing are resources. Resources are things that you could add if you wanted to add in a document, your syllabus or an additional project document, you could do that. We'll talk more about resources later. Um, and then finally, SimPaths. Oh, and also on resources, it could be a link to a website or a video or something like that as well. Um, so typically links or a document. Um, and then finally, SimPaths. SimPaths would kind of be a combination between exams and lessons. So um, somewhat adaptive in that you have a pretest, an exam that's a pretest. Then you have a lesson that supplements that learning. So it goes over the things that they missed, or you could you could set it up however you want as an instructor, and then a post test. So those are all the different types of objects that are available in SimNet. Um, also, we have a we have a lot of other content. So if you go into the Sim Books area, you can see that that in addition to the Office applications and the different books that are in there. The in, the in practice or the books that uh, that I author here, but we also have computer concepts. We have Microsoft Outlook. We have modules for internet browsers and file management and Windows. So those come free with any with any license that you have. So. Um, so yeah, great learning tool. One last thing here is I have a handout that is called Text Overview that gives you an overview of the Office in Practice text and the different types of assignments that are available, the different aspects of the textbook and the sim book because it's one-to-one -one content with the printed textbook. So if you're interested in that, reach out to me or anybody on the McGraw-Hill team and they can get you that. So anyway, back to, back to SimNet. This is the instructor dashboard. We'll talk about this more. You'll see this quite often, but I hope this overview video was helpful for you.